A lot of us blindly use the sort method in JavaScript expecting it to sort everything out for us. But if you take a deeper look, you'll realize the sort method doesn't always behave as expected. Let's take an example. We have this array here containing the values 80, 9 and 4. Now the sort method by default sorts the array in an ascending order. So the expected answer upon sorting this array should be 4, 9 and 80. But when I actually sort it, we get the output array as 4, 80 and 9 instead of 4, 9 and 80. Which is weird, isn't it? Now this brings up the question, is sort broken in JavaScript? Well, not really. This happens because the sort method compares the elements of the array by converting them into strings and then comparing their Unicode or UTF-16 code points. This means that in some situations, the sorting could go wrong in reality. So after sort method converts the individual values into strings, the Unicode comparison of each value is done. And in Unicode, the code unit value for the digit 8 is smaller than the code unit value for the digit 9. When comparing strings, the sorting is character by character, and the first character of 80, which is 8, is smaller than the first character of 9. Therefore, according to the Unicode code unit values, 80 comes before 9 in the sorted order. This issue arises because the sorting is being done character by character, not by the combined numerical value of the strings. And that's why 80 comes before 9 upon sorting the array 80, 9 and 4. So how to fix this? How do we get the desired result in ascending order? To solve this, you can provide a comparison function that defines the desired sorting order. For sorting an array of numbers, the comparison function should subtract the second number from the first number. This will result in a negative number if the first number is smaller than the second number, a positive number if the first number is larger than the second number, and zero if the two numbers are equal. So as you can see here, by providing a comparison function that defines the correct sorting order, we can ensure that the array is sorted accurately. I hope that clears your doubts. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.